It's the middle of 2018, and it feels like just about everyone is quitting League of Legends, and creative content in the scene is pretty scarce. No one really makes scripted videos talking about champions anymore. Hey, I'm here. Yo, shut up, dude. You're not helping my point. So if I'm gonna try to make a name for myself out here, I gotta try to be original, right? Let's do a champion guide or some shit. I was thinking something really relevant and new like a Kali, maybe someone overpowered like Zoe, or how about someone like a... Power, worship, beg. They are all valid reactions. Hello again. Let's have some fun. Why? I've already made like two videos about you. Because I am a star dragon. That's why. Fine, I'll do the guide. Aurelian Soul is one of my favorite champions in League of Legends. He's super cool and polished in terms of art design and voice acting, but in terms of gameplay, I feel like he's pretty damn underappreciated. With a complicated and unique playstyle, players are often unsure how he fits into a team comp or just think he's a bad pick no matter what patch we're on. But instead of making the 134th Aurelian Soul Diamond Master Challenger one trick guide, I'm uh I'm making the first was silver for four seasons, but recently got to gold, so I am now a professional league player guide. So you know, take what I say with a grain of salt. Here's the basics you need to know about Aurelian Soul if you're looking to get better at him or beat his ass into the ground. Except behind his cocky exterior, he's probably a very nice and misunderstood dragon, so you should really just try to be nicer to him. I mean, you don't know what he's going through after Targon made him a slave and stuff. He seems alright, maybe a bit cocky, but he likes snow globes a lot. A snow globe? Perfect for my collect- to destroy you. DESTROY YOU! In my opinion, Aurelian Soul has one of the most interesting kits in League of Legends, since his main source of damage are the three stars constantly orbiting him. Playing him makes you feel amazing until you realize that you're literally just walking back and forth and tapping people with giant ping pong balls. And I'm barely trying. Even though Aurelian Soul can dish out a lot of consistent damage, he has a good amount of exploitable weaknesses that you have to be careful with. For example, he can't hide in bushes. He can't hide in fucking bushes. What a fucking piece of shit. Alright, now that I've made the obligatory can't hide in bushes joke, let's go over the basics. Aurelian Soul is a mid-range control mage that excels at dishing out consistent damage with his constantly rotating stars and providing additional damage and crowd control with his Q and ultimate. His E is a unique ability that separates him from most champions that stick to their lane, as one of Aurelian's greatest strengths is the speed at which he can travel around the map, allowing him to roam starting at level 3 and provide global pressure for his team. Looking at the early game, the first things new Aurelian Soul players struggle with are mana and range. The new rune have assisted him with some of these problems by giving him move speed with phase rush and help with his mana through time warp tonic. But you know what they don't help with? Letting him keep his distance if he can't land any abilities. Even though Aurelian Soul is quite possibly the cockiest champion in all of League of Legends, if someone gets right up next to him, he looks like a fucking fish out of water as he tries to run away and hit you with his baby stars. That's why today's topic on Aurelian Soul's playhouse is personal space. <laughs> Hey kids, this is Aurelian Soul. He's a really cool dragon who wants to have a bunch of fun on Summoner's Rift, but there's one thing he wants you to know. You see that circle around Aurelian Soul? Yeah, that's his personal bubble. Aurelian Soul doesn't get along with the mean kids in the neighborhood like Yasuo and Fizz. They make him feel really sad because they get too close. If you get too close to Aurelian, he might get mad because this fucking cube isn't an instant cast, so it'll just travel right fucking past you before it explodes. Aurelian Soul's passive is center of the universe. Man, this guy really is cocky. Useless and intolerable. Charming. Dude, shut up. I'm trying to make the guide. I've seen enough. Aurelian Soul has three stars that constantly orbit him and deal magic damage, and they are disabled by hard crowd control. This is Aurelian Soul's main form of damage that allows him to hit champions from a distance, and they can also be used to shove waves and last hit minions. His W is where I'll really get into the stars, but for now let's talk about the Q first. Aurelian Soul's Q is Star Surge. Aurelian fires the core of a newborn star- holy shit, that sounds fucking awesome. Aurelian fires a star in a target direction, which continuously expands and grants movement speed. It explodes when you recap cast it or after it leaves Aurelian Soul's outer limit, dealing magic damage and stunning all enemies hit. Star Surge is a great spell to use when engaging, whether it be starting a team fight or ganking another lane. Because it grows the longer you travel with it, if you cast it before you reach the enemy and build it up with the move speed it grants, along with the move speed you gain from Aurelian's E, which I'll talk about later, it makes it more difficult for enemies to dodge. One of the most painful parts about Aurelian Soul's Q is that it isn't an instant cast like I mentioned earlier. So if an enemy is within melee range of you, unless you have flash, 
no matter how hard you mash your Q button, you just gotta sit there and watch it fly past as you contemplate while you pick this champion. I mean, does this game even really matter? And in the grand scheme of things, does anything really matter? It keeps me up at night, and... Oh, there's the Zettel! See you next time, guys! Just wanted to add in a little note saying that I think Aurelian Soul is a powerful champion right now and I don't actually think his Q should be an instant cast. It's a very powerful ability once you learn to use it, but the Aurelian Soul mains might be out to get me, so I gotta clarify myself, you feel me? Defending yourself, adorably futile. Aurelian Soul's W, Celestial Expansion, is a toggled ability, expanding his stars to his outer limit and increasing their damage by 50%. These stars can dish out incredible amounts of damage to multiple targets at once. Their main learning curve is that most of Aurelian Soul's power comes from where he's positioned, requiring precise movements to follow and dodge enemy champions as opposed to aiming skill shots or clicking for auto attacks. If you have the same or higher move speed than an enemy, Aurelian Soul's stars allow you to dish out a lot more damage than one ability would, making them perfect for catching someone who's running away. On the flip side, Aurelian's expanded stars are also one of the biggest issues you have to adapt to when picking him up for the first time. This shit is like trying to jack off when your phone only has 2% battery left. For the beginning of the match, this ability will eat through your mana, so you have to be really careful when you're using it. Corrupting Pot helps a lot with this in the early game, but another thing to be aware of is that any ability inhibiting CC, like I mentioned earlier, will completely close Aurelian Soul's W, and he has to wait 3-6 to six seconds before he can open it up again. Because of this, there are also a lot of champion abilities that are an absolute nightmare to lane against. Aurelian Soul loses a lot of the matchups he faces in the mid lane in 1v1s, but that's okay because Aurelian's true strength comes from just fucking dipping out of there all the time. Aurelian Soul's expanded star can quickly farm and shove the wave into the opponent's tower, letting him use his next ability to roam and help his jungler or the other laners. Aurelian Soul's E is Comet of Legend. Its passive gives a move speed bonus when Aurelian moves in the same direction, and its active allows him to fly in a chosen direction for a specified distance, ignoring terrain and unit collision. This incredible utility comes with a couple things to keep in mind. If you do anything other than cast Aurelian's Q or you take any form of damage, Comet of Legend will be cancelled. What the fuck? Because Comet of Legends active allows you to travel at the exact same speed as Star Surge, you can use both abilities to create a giant star. It can be useful for pressuring lanes, but I don't recommend it most of the time. It's pretty fun though. Hey fellas, how are you gonna dodge this one? Here it comes! Get ready to die! Well, utilizing Comet of Legend is the aspect of Aurelian Soul that took me the longest to get comfortable with. When you're playing him, you should be constantly looking for chances to roam around the map. Since he shoves waves so quickly, as soon as he's done, he's more like a second jungler than a mid laner, and he can gank much earlier than champions like Fizz and Talia that gain most of their pressure at level 6. Once you get this down, you'll have a much better time with Aurelian Soul. I mean, it took me like a year to realize that I shouldn't just sit in mid lane and die for like 20 minutes. I'm gold 1 now, you can't make Make fun of me anymore. Gold's good, right? Guys? And that brings us to Aurelian Soul's ultimate ability, Voice of Light. Aurelian gets really angry and yells at enemies in a line, dealing magic damage, slowing them, and knocking them back to his outer limit. This is a really useful ability, as it can be used to finish off enemies that are escaping, to get close range champions away from you and into your expanded stars, or to knock back and slow a large number of people during a team fight. But since it's an ultimate, he can only really get champions off of him once. Oh shit, that's an Akali. Aurelian, watch out, here she comes use your ult all right dude i think you're safe now except you're not <laughs> idiot oh wait akali has two more dashes and now that i'm done with his abilities i just want to bring up mecha aurelian soul for a second it's been over two years since he came out and his new skin looks like they just pinned him down cut off his little dragon legs and hot glued a bunch of spare legos and bionicle pieces to him i saw a lot of replies to criticism like well at least he got a skin and i gotta say bitch you could probably say that about one of lux's 10 billion skins because she's probably getting a new one next week but we aurelian soul mains i'm i'm pretty sure there's at least like three of us this is all we get imagine each skin being like a birthday present so some champions are really excited like wow elementalist lux oh ooh, pool party zoe and aurelian soul just opens his box and it goes <laughs>
And finally, I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of the current runes and items I use since this stuff kind of changes patch to patch. Your items will change a little bit based on your matchups, but you'll usually start with Corrupting Potion, buy a Dark Seal on your first back, then go for Rod of Ages, Swiftness Boots or Merc Treads, and Riley's Crystal Scepter. Then you can do whatever you want from there like Morella Nomicon, Zanya's Hourglass, Rabadon's Death Cap, and Leandri's Torment. Runes, Phase Rush for the move speed, Nullifying Orb to defend yourself, Celerity for more damage and move speed, Water Walking for the big boy roams, Minion Dematerializer to clear faster, weren't they gonna make this Dream Snatcher, and Time Warp Tonic to buff the Corrupting Pot. And that's about it for a quick intro to Aurelian Soul. He's got a high learning curve, but once you start to understand his playstyle, he's a lot of fun and a really unique champion. I'm not planning on making any more champion guides, but if you're new here and you liked my shitty jokes, feel free to subscribe anyway. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Yak. Go CMN if you want to do that too. That'd be, that'd be kind of cool. Anything else you want to say, Aurelian? What is the definition of underwhelming? Oh, right. You. Alright, you fucking asshole. Never mind.